Alright, here we are, the Yanmar YM2000. I got the gear box pulled off the top here. Or the shifter box. Had to replace the, the high-low range selector, which was there. Ended up having to use a hacksaw and cut it off where the bolt went through right here to make it shorter so that it would drive out past this part here. Uh, the issue is it wasn't taken and going in or staying in high gear. And before I get to using it much, I wanted to find out what's going on. So what I'm noticing is down in there, you can see that there's a small nub. It looks like it's kind of rounded off. Uh, that would be on the the bottom of the screen there, right down there, and then the opposing <coughs> nubs on the top. On the other side, you can see that they're slightly rounded off too, so I'm thinking that may be part of my issue. There is that, not that gear, but that next one up there, um, right in the middle there. That one to me seems as if it's uh, it's rounded off more so than it should be. This small gear right on top here, as you can see, it as well has some little damaged teeth there. <clears throat> and I think that was it for damaged teeth on gears. Spin the. And get it to go and keep going. Kind of hard to do this. Hold the flashlight, hold the camera, and spin the tires at the same time. See that pinch point right there is that's a good shot on that one there. You can kind of see in that little spot there where the two are just kind of bypassing each other. See if we can get a good idea what the gears look like here. And this is with the shift fork shifted forward into low gear. Oh, no, my fault. That's pulled back into high gear. Sorry about that. High gear on the range selector. And this will slide and lock into there. This is the first time I've opened any of these up like this, so I don't even know really what what per se the different gear positions are. trick is finding it to where it will move again. There we go. So 
hopefully that'll help anybody looking into one of these. Kind of give you an idea of what's inside when you take them apart. Make sure you take a picture of where all of these gears are in relationship to the shift forks here. And I shifted this into neutral and, um, and then pulled the top after I had drained all the fluid, of course. Alright, that'll do for now.